everyone, Mr. Market here, and today I've got part 12 on how to make a Discord Skype bot. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to ban and unban users uh, via command, and also how to create a simple little uptime counter, uh, which is useful if you run your bot a lot, especially on a dedicated server or something like that. Um, so, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do the uptime first. So, what I've done, there's obviously many ways to do it, but I probably didn't do it the most efficient way. What I've done is created a, a new thing called uptime and it's going to be an integer and it's going to be equal to zero. So obviously every time we launch it, it's going to reset to zero just as it should. And then uptime is going to carry the amount of seconds it's been up. So what we're going to do is go into the design and when it loads, we'll grab a timer. We're going to use a timer to uh, increase the seconds. So what we want to do is click on the timer and we want to change the interval from 100 to 1000 um, because 1000 is a second so then every second we're going to add a second. So we'll go into the timer's code and we're just going to say uptime is plus equal to 1 and that's just going to add a number 1 onto our uptime every second. And the next thing we need to do is go into the form load and uh, execute or start the timer so we'll say timer one dot start and uh, in closing just just for the sake of it timer one dot stop just like that and um, so now every second our form is open another number is going to be added another one is going to be plus onto this each time so then from here what we want to do is when the command is executed so we'll go ahead and make it We'll just put it here, let's say, case uptime. So when this is executed, only then are we going to process the seconds. So what we can say is we can say dim ts short for time span is equal to time span dot from seconds. Obviously, you, you can see here you got mil, uh, milliseconds, minutes, days. Uh, because we're working in seconds, we're going to use from seconds and then give it our uptime integer, just like that. Now what we can do is send a message like usual. We can say await message dot channel dot send message. And then what we'll do is now the thing is you can process this however you like because obviously what we can do now is say ts dot and you can get the days, hours, minutes, and so on. So you can have it in whatever order you like. But the way I usually do it is say um, we'll start with the highest one, so we'll say hours. We'll say ts dot hours. We'll say we need to plus and add on the string. We'll say hours, add a comma, and then what we'll do is we'll add on, let's say, ts dot uh, minutes, just like that. And then again, you can just add that on. You can say minutes, add the next one on, and you can do seconds, uh, seconds, just like that. Uh, we'll add on seconds to the end obviously there's days there's days milliseconds but I can let you add that as well what you could do is at the start just say uptime just like that and leave it just like that so that's as simple as that that should work now um, but instead of testing it now I'll just wait till I've done the other command and we'll do it together so there's the uptime so now what we'll do is we'll get to the banning and unbanning of users it's going to be a double command because obviously we need to put their username as well so the bot knows who to ban. So we'll come down and we'll say case ban. And what we'll do is probably, uh, just like I showed you in the last video, is we'll take this if check here. And we'll check if they have a role admin because obviously we don't want to let anyone trigger this command. So we'll put it here um, and start writing here. So what we want to do first of all is get the user. So we'll say dim user is equal to message uh, dot message dot mentioned users and we'll use first or default because they'll probably obviously if you're triggering the command you're only going to trigger one anyway. So the user you added is now going to be stored to user because we need to use um, we can't just put the username or something like that unless you really want to convert it. It's much easier just like this. And what we want to do is really simple. You can say await 
message dot server dot ban and we just need to pass it our little user right there and that's then banned and now what you can do is say await message dot uh, channel dot send message and then you can say user dot name and then the add on was banned just like that and now that's the user banned so what you can do is copy this whole case and then come down paste it just below and you rename ban to unban and then obviously there's one thing you want to change instead of using the uh, unban the ban function you want to just put unban there just like that and then you can say it was unbanned just like that so now that's changed over to unbound people so that's two little simple commands we'll go ahead and try it the thing is in my testing server it's only me and the bot in here so I probably can't even ban anyone but I'll try it anyway I'll try to ban myself so what we do at first is we got the uptime which will be running in the background so if we type that in uptime and no it doesn't we've got an error oh I know exactly why we have the error what we need to do is use C str string and put it there like that because obviously um, these are integers and we're trying to put it into a string so what we'll do is we'll put that just before um, every single one we're adding uh, and again we'll do it again just like that and then we'll try again uh, so we'll go back to discord and we'll execute uptime now you see uptime in five seconds now a little bit of time's passed we'll try it again now it's 14 seconds and then obviously that will just continue on until it gets to whenever you stop it so that's a nice little one and then obviously we got the ban and unban and I made it so you got it at the user so ban obviously me I'll try and ban myself I don't know what's going to happen yeah I've probably got an error because yeah, it says forbidden but I think that's probably because it's me um, but I can assure you this does work uh, because I have tested it myself um, so yeah what you need to do is ban someone else maybe I can ban the bot let's see if I can ban the bot and again no an error so maybe server respond forbidden I'm not sure if it's not working or I just can't ban them but I've tested this out and it worked for me anyway in testing so that's why I showed you it um, so yeah so that's it for the video if you if there is a problem with it let me know and I'll try to f hit fix it or something like that um, but yeah that's it for this video so if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time